What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero. Welcome back to Let's Play Portal 2 Blind. In the last episode, we reunited with our potato friend, GLaDOS. And in this episode, we're going to start some gels with the, uh, what's it called? The Gamma Pump? That makes portalable surfaces. You guys are getting a kick out of that word. And before I hop down there, are there any surfaces I should be aware of? Probably not. I feel like it would be poor game design if they made it so that I couldn't access any future areas. But, nevertheless, what we're going to do is fire a portal there, and we're going to need to fire another one. The question is... where? Can I see anything through here? Maybe... like that? No? Doesn't seem so. Puppers. What's got you all riled up? Um... This is exactly what I was not hoping would happen. What about the exit there? It does not seem so. Can I spread more of this elsewhere? Ooh. Interesting. So that that goes quite a bit of ways. We can just get it all over the place. All the portals. So now the question is, where do I need to make the portal, right? <laughs> I can put portals on myself. So we've clearly made quite a bit of a mess here. Is this not going to work? There we go. And then you get some more. <laughs> okay, should probably stop. Um, so where do we want to go, right? <laughs> That's really the question. That's where we came from. I feel like we want to get up there. That's already a portable surface. Did I do that, or... I don't know. Find out in a moment. Oh, I guess I can't... Need to lower it a bit. Or can I just crouch through? I can! Nice! Nice! Hopefully I didn't just, like, trap myself back here or something. That would be less than ideal. So now that we're out here, the question is... What do we want to do? We obviously can come up here, and this will give us a different perspective. Can I fire a portal up there? Doesn't look like it. Um, doggos. Um... Sorry about that. Whenever I'm home alone, they're they're very quick to just accompany me in the basement, no matter what I'm doing. So we need to make that surface portalable. Oh, and wow, that worked out really well. Um, how far is that gonna go? So I think the idea is we gotta launch ourselves up there. How are we gonna get enough speed to do that though? I don't think this will be enough. I really don't. But we'll try it. Yeah, I didn't think so. All I can think of is if we do some physics shenanigans where we like fall through this. We could we could try it. Let, let's give it a go. So we go through here. Oh wow, that was nowhere near enough momentum. Okay. Ah, uh, not quite. So like, right, you go through here and then Let's see here. We'll jump, go through, and then there, and then there, and then... Aww. <laughs> I didn't quite get it. But you guys get the idea, right? I thought that would work, but but alas. It was to no avail. So where am I going to get my momentum? Where am I going to get it? I can obviously really only work from, like, known areas to unknown areas. Areas that I've already been able to spray the gel to other areas. Darn, without the, the game giving me these portable surfaces, it's so much more difficult to determine where I need to be going. Alright. Um, so we'll do that. I clearly need to get up there. 
Is there any way for me to get the gel up there, though? Can I go through this, like, graded fence area? No, that's not gonna work. But where am I gonna be able to fall from high enough that I'm able to actually get some momentum? I feel like it's gotta be there. But how in the world am I gonna get up there, right? There's no way that, uh... Anything I spray down here will actually reach up there, you know? Maybe... I don't know. If I... Launch some of the propulsion gel on the wall that way... Then I can maybe do it? I don't know. Like, I could jump... Through there, onto here... I don't know. I, I'm not liking that option either. Because I could jump through here, potentially. Try and do something where I get a little bit more momentum. But that's not going to work either. Dang, starting off the episode already a little bit stumped. My bad, guys. My bad. How am I going to get up there? I could just be fixating on one part of the puzzle when I really don't need to be. That's always a possibility. But I'm fairly confident I need to go through a portal on this area and launch myself up there. Because then I can walk up there and to the exit. So that's like the ultimate goal. And I feel like, I don't know, I need to somehow get the gel up there. I'm not really seeing a whole lot of opportunities to do it. All I can think of is if maybe I make like a little bridge here and go back and forth like this to have the elevation go higher and higher. I mean, for what it's worth, it seems to be working. So I guess we can give that a go? Maybe? Oh, other side. Um, there we go. Okay, so I guess that's how I, uh, how I get up there. For some reason, that reminded me of wall jumping. Oh no! That was obviously not the intended route of fall. But that's okay. Can I fire through this? I think I can. I can. Alright, let's 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 aim for it. There we go. But yeah, the whole kind of like bouncing back and forth. When life gives you lemons. Don't make lemonade. Yeah. Make life take the lemons back. Yeah. Get mad. Yeah. I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? Yeah. Demand to see life's manager. Make life rule the day and thought it could give Kane Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons. I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> the point is. If we Dang. store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping. Artificial intelligence. We should have been working on it 30 years ago. I will say this, and I'm going to say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you yep. people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <laughs> now she'll argue. She'll say she can't. She's oh, man. Like that, but you make her. <coughs> Hell, put her in my computer. I don't care. All right, test's over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. Goodbye, sir. Dang. 
That's crazy. So first of all, Mr. Johnson is obviously upset with the fact that he's dying. He's, you know, one of the five stages of grief. He's uh, having a difficult time accepting that he's going to die, and now he's refusing to do so, trying to use whatever science he can to live on by whatever means possible. And now it's pretty apparent that GLaDOS is actually, well, Carolyn. Thank you for volunteering. And do I, do I pick up my pay stub here? <laughs> Alright. Onward. What am I zooming in on? Anything up here? No? Okay. I don't really get the indication for the uh, zoom view, but that's okay. It's an elevator shaft. Looks like we're going to have to bounce back and forth quite a bit. Some more wall jumping. <laughs> I mean, is there any pump gel coming out? I feel like that's part of the uh, the point. Because I mean, like, I can go up here, I guess, and I've you know raised my elevation a bit. Is this where I came from? No, nope, this is just a window. So where's the next platform segment? It's up there. We can take our time and do that. Where's the next one? Up there? Then up there we go. Ooh, what do we have over here? Anything of interest? I think this is kind of a missed opportunity. There are a lot of little offices with computers set up and everything. They're really just there for decoration. Granted, they're, they're good decorations, but I feel like there's a lot of opportunity for personality or little Easter eggs or whatever it may be to be, you know, included on whatever the monitor screens are or whatever's on like the clipboard at the desk or something like that. So we'll fire another portal up there because we'll inevitably need to use it. And actually this looks a lot safer. Are there any like hideouts over here? I feel like this would be a good place to hide one of those. Where's the next place we can really jump up to? Up there? Looks like it. So up here we go. Cool. Then we should be good. Oh, I don't even need to portal into there. Anything interesting over there? Nope. Alright. Oh, I should probably get rid of the portal there so I don't walk into the elevator and immediately get shot out of it. Oh, the whole point wasn't even to be in here. I think the whole point is actually to get shot out of it. That's actually really funny. So... Let's see here. How do I want to do this? I mean, I could obviously... Whoa! Um, jump through it like that. But I think the intent is to like launch myself up there. Yeah, so let's let's try that. All right, down we go. That's the right portal. It is. Here we go, guys. Woo! And nice. No, wrong portal. Well, I guess it'll work anyways. So <laughs> we're fine. Now from here, I guess we can make our way over to that side by doing this. Oh. Dog. One of one of my dogs just came up and is resting on my feet at the moment. Fun fact, I stand while recording and playing any game that you guys see on the channel. Now what? Is that a portable surface? Didn't think so. That would be too easy. Can I go over here? I can. Is that gonna give me a better perspective on potentially a portable wall? feel like if I aim this just right, there we go. I should be able to get it. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but let's let's see if we can get a better No, no, no! Okay. I um I think I made that work. I think I improvised and got it right. Alright, well uh we take those. Are we finally done with the whole testing thing? We've gone through the Mr. Johnson arc of being introduced to what the old Aperture Labs were like, and we've got the recordings of him going, you know, crazy at the end of it all. We've learned GLaDOS's history. 
<laughs> wow. What's interesting is... so interesting there's clearly i feel like what's his name mr johnson almost like indoctrinated carolyn through the all the time they spent together what's also interesting is glados seems a lot more intelligent than carolyn appeared from the recordings but obviously obviously that's not a lot to go off of and i don't know i mean you probably don't have a body to go back to unless you're referring to the robotic body and he up there being wheatley um but i'm not sure so, we can probably portal up there? We can. So then, the question is... Oh. Where's the portable surface? Oh, duh, right there. Can I go in here? No, I can't. How about up there? Ah. Wait, no. That doesn't work either. Oh, dang, I got a long way to climb. Can I... Portal up there? How about somewhere up there? No? Okay. Hmm. What's the intent here? I've got to launch myself somewhere. The question is... How? This is presumably a portal I can only... I guess I could go like this. And, um... Maybe, like, from up here... Jump out of... Oh the area and then fall or something like that to, to make somewhat of a I don't know um, jump cuz yeah I don't know um, Because it seems like the only way I'm really getting down from here is by having a portal down there and a portal here. But obviously I can't have three portals at any given time, and once I'm down there I won't have access to this platform. So it makes me think I've got to find some other portalable surface while I'm up here. I'm just... I thought like maybe that would be one, but it doesn't look like it. Maybe all the way up there? Is that a portalable surface? It looks like it. But I'm not getting the reaction. So, we'll leave it at that. Certainly that would be probably too far ahead. Um, let's see here. Alright, well, I guess we'll head back down and reevaluate things from down there. See if there's anything else we can get a bit of perspective on. Maybe if we come back here, see things a little bit differently. I'm still not seeing enough to feel confident in where I need to go. Are these portable? Oh, they are. That makes a world of a difference. So I can portal like that. Oh, I thought I was one rung higher, but that will uh, suffice for now. Let's see here. Let's do that. Cool. Here we go, guys. Momentum! Ah, I see. It all makes sense. Let's get some of that gel over there. That's what, there? Nice. All good? Seems to be. Alright, let's get even more momentum this time. Oh, did I miss? I missed! <laughs> nice. And now, I've got to restart the puzzle. Because, uh, let's see if I can get enough speed to jump out of here. Can I? Oh, darn. That's annoying. Oh well. So let's 
go back up there. Okay, and then from up here we fire we'll fire this guy there. And we just gotta aim to fall down this guy. Nice. Well, that was not exactly intended. I was hoping to have a little bit more momentum going into it. And that's why we ended up here and probably not up there. But that's okay, I guess. We got ourselves a nice portable surface there. Why though? <laughs> Why? What would be the point of having a surface like that here? Is that even dripping? What does this say? Caution. I'm being cautious. It's not even dripping the... anymore. Huh? Well, I guess that's not part of the puzzle, then. So let's look up. I mean, I could... All I can think of is flinging myself up as high as I can and then finding some surface over here that I can't currently see. So, I guess we can give that a go. You can just fall through here. Let's not miss. So once I'm up here... Okay, yeah. No, I hit the wrong one again. Again, though, it's okay. Wait, I fell back down. No. Go back. There we go. <laughs> Take three or whatever is the, is the charm. Ooh, and it looks like we've got ourselves another test chamber. All the gels. To get where, though? So clearly, I need to... Do I need to bounce there, or do I need to set up a portal there? I think I need to set up a portal there. Such an interesting setup for a room. I don't see very many portable surfaces. But yeah, I do think I need to set up a bounce there. So for the time being, we can do that. Alright, and then that's not portable. Is this portable? Of course it is. Let's see if I can start spreading this around. Not easily. <laughs> That's for sure. Alright, so maybe the trick then is to just start splattering this all over the place so that I've got somewhat of a portable surface somewhere just to work with in general. Alright, so now that I have this, I think it's pretty clear that what I can do is, um, hmm, if I do something really low like that, oh, but it goes all the way over there, interesting. So I can pretty much use this area to make like a runway of sorts, right? And then, I don't know, if I get rid of that portal or whatever, we could just do something like that. Create a little lava lamp over there. Um, I'll have my little, I guess, area there. The question then is, do I bounce there again? Let's, let's give that a go. Wow, that is an interesting mixture. So that'll be good for now. Now let's just get rid of these portals. We'll just do something like that. Wait, no! Ah. Uh. All right. So I think the goal is to run, bounce, and then bounce off of that and get up there. So is this portalable? Let's let's add a little bit of runway to this. Oh, is that not enough? Oh, I guess not. Darn, that's that's a bummer. And now that's no longer bouncy or portalable. How lovely. 
All right, let's put that there for now. And we can put that there, and you guys can mix and mash all, all you want. Let's give this a go. Unsuccessful. <laughs> so I think what I may need to do is instead actually use this to do that. And then from there I can run in like there and then out there. Let's try this. Hey! Ooh, we kept bouncing and bouncing some more. Interesting. So that's where I came from. Uh, but obviously that's where I need to go. I think I need to get more blue propulsion gel over there. So how do I do that? <laughs> um, can I fire through here? I can. So let's use this portal here to fire some more of that gel up here. Maybe a little bit higher, I guess. Can I not? Will it not go any higher? How did the blue get up here then? Oh, it's leaking up here. I did not realize. Okay. Um, so I can't portal that, obviously. What if I do something like that? Maybe we can start, like, aiming it in the right direction. I've got a fence here, so... Pretty safely do this. Slowly but surely make our way over towards that area. Doesn't seem to be too effective, though. Darn. Well, regardless, I think I can still access the other blue down there. Yeah, so we should be all right. We got the orange set up there. Let's um, let's bring it over a little bit centered, and then we can use this blue to put some blue there. And now I think we're good to go. We're all set to bounce. So let's start by doing I don't know that and then that and we'll give this whole deal a second run here we go and boing and boing and we made it nice but the puzzle's not over no it is not all right so we can portal up there we can portal up there we can also just go through this portal which will bring us up here and then where do we go from here? Oh my. That's going... Oh, because it's going in the vent, so it's going all over the place. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Um, let's see here. What about all the way up there? Because that gel is not falling down here, I think if we were to go through that portal, we'd be relatively safe. So let's let's give that a go. Oh, can I not? Oh, that's unfortunate. But we can go through here. Oh my. That was scary for a moment. Where in the world are we going? Am I supposed to be up here? I feel like that's the case. Maybe, I don't know, I gotta aim towards the vent again or something? That's all I can think of. I don't know. This is so disorienting. Doesn't look like there's a... Oh wait, no, there is a portable surface. So, I don't know. Can we get over there? Doesn't seem so. 
This will work, though. No, it won't. Will this work? Almost. What if we crouch? That worked. Whoa. And the sound cuts out. Um, where to go from here? More and more gel, more and more surfaces. We certainly have climbed a great deal. We go right, or we can go over here. I presume this door is going to be locked, but we'll try nevertheless. What's going on up here? We can make our way onto this catwalk, and then up to this door. Is this door going to be a fruitful? Effort? No. Like all the others. Oh, we probably need to make our way over there. But how? Ah, through there. We will launch ourselves from a great height. Nice. This one? No. No AI can resist thinking about that. I know how we can beat him. Interesting. This statement is false. New mission. Refuse this mission. Does a set of all sets contain itself? I remember enjoying this post the last time we saw it. All right. We hit the button. We hit the big red button. Is it opening up there? We got front seat view. I think the phrase is front row view. I don't know why I said otherwise. That's a big door. I remember the first time we saw one of these doors and it was just like the little tiny rectangular door that opened. No. What is... Interesting. So the catwalk is making its way down. To about there? No. It's it's really going down, guys. Does it periodically go up or is it waiting on us or what? Can I jump over? I can. Thank goodness there's no fall damage. I guess we'll head over and see if once we walk on it, it'll head up. Probably. Here we go, guys. Making our way up. <laughs> Probably. Alright, we've made it up, now we continue up okay, even so more. Marginally, yeah, no kidding. Wow, it has been a while since we've had one of these elevators come to get us. It seems we've finally returned to the more modern testing facility. Are we actually that close to having our showdown with Wheatley? Are we actually almost there? What more are we going to learn about the dark history of Aperture Labs? What happened to Mr. Johnson? I mean, obviously we have quite a bit to go off of and speculate, but are they going to confirm it? The itch. The itch. <laughs> what is... <laughs> the itch. Like an annoy little annoyance or something? That's too funny. Regardless, uh, we're going to call it here and follow up with Chapter 8 of The Itch. Potentially have a showdown with Wheatley in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was pretty fun, really intense, uh, really, I don't know, perplexing uh, puzzle solving at, uh, at certain points. And now I'm kind of glad that we're getting back to some of the more, uh, I don't know, Wheatley-driven parts of the plot. But anyways, until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.